Well, good morning, everyone. It is your buddy Eric, and this is a Honest Five Four and Honest Five, right? That's how you say it. And Honest Five Four, October six, two thousand and eighteen. Um. I slept in way too late today. I guess it just all caught up to me going out every night this week, pretty much. Except for Thursday, right? Yeah, pretty much was out every day this week doing something. Um, good to keep active, I guess, but it caught up to me in the sense that, like, you know, because I'm translating on the side, you know, I'm still doing all this other stuff in between the cracks of time, trying to fill out stuff. And um, I woke up really late today, like, just so much later than I expected. I was like, wow. And um, it was actually later than... Um, if you don't know the, the new iOS 12 feature that uh, screen time that lets you like block certain apps for certain times of the day, you know it's pretty good because I was able to I was able to set it up so that like you know when I wake up I can't just go look at Twitter. Well, I can, but it'll give you a little warning that'll be like, hey, this is your block time. Are you sure you want to do this? And that's enough to get my brain clicking and go, hey, you know what? No, I don't really need to be looking at Twitter first thing in the morning. But I woke up so late that, you know, it didn't, like, we'd already passed that time, and I looked at Twitter, and just everyone's so sad, and I understand why, and it's just like, I'm not going to talk about that specifically, but it's just like, blech, it's just blech, you know, but then, you know, it gets you to thinking, it's like, how much, I mean, as terrible as things can be, and as sad as things can make you feel, how much can I let this control me, how much can I, you know, do that because like um you know, actually I don't even know I, actually it's funny because I didn't even read what I assume happened you know it's just the way people the way people talk now like there's always an assumption that you know what's going on even if you don't really know what's going on so it's like it's weird because like I, I don't know if like what I think happened actually happened or not and um but that's interesting because I don't know if it matters because the way people were speaking still managed to affect me in a way that I feel down. Um, whether or not what happened happened or not. Right? Like that that's that's the interesting thing here about the emotions is that I don't know for a fact what happened or not, right? But still the way people speak were able to to manipulate my emotions to make me feel down. Right? So it's just those little things. It's you know, it, it's a stupid, stupid uh, comparison, but it's just like, I, well, it's the big chase card in um, Guild of Ravnica right now, Assassin's Trophies, what everyone's talking about. And there's some other cards that are clearly better for the set right now and for the current standard, but um, you know, people want Assassin's Trophies, right? They're really pricey right now. You know, they're like 40 bucks, 3500 I think I saw yesterday at a store. And, um... You know, all through the pre-release, I'm just like not opening them, not opening, not opening them. In the past, you know, a few days, just like casual pack opening, like, I pulled three. You know, and I felt ecstatic. I was like, "Wow, this is awesome!" I finally got the card I was looking for. You know, but nothing really changed in the world. I just have a couple pieces of cardboard. That's all that really changed. And then a friend of mine was like, "Hey, I, you know, I'm moving. I paid money for an apartment, so I'm really low on cash." And then my old bank card doesn't work, my old bank card from the States doesn't work, this is my friend saying this, it's like, I need cash, like, I pulled an Assassin's Trophy, you know, can you, like, help me out here, and I'm like, well, I don't think it's going to be worth as much as I'm going to give you for it, I gave him about what a store would buy it for right now, um, you know, but I'm like, well, I'm helping you out, so like, yeah, I guess that's okay, so I, I, you know, I bought, so I got the fourth one that way, you know, that's, it's kind of helping a friend out um, more so than just, you know, I, mean, I, 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 I benefit from it and I got a good card at a good price, but, you know, um, did I take advantage of my friend? Not really, because he didn't want it. He said he wasn't going to play the card, you know, and we, we both agreed that the card was going to drop from its current price, you know. I think I still paid a little bit more than what's going to settle into around December time, but we'll see, you know. But I have the Forest House Trophies and, like, that felt kind of good. It's just like, you know what? If there's a deck that rocks for this, you know, stupid rare card, I got, you know. Um, but of course, everyone's just playing red again because red's going to be ruining standard for the rest of the time that magic is a thing. It seems like, I don't know, it just, I'm just tired of red. I'm just really, really tired of uh, red. But I'm tired of lots of things. And um, hopefully I can have some fun today.
even though there is reason to feel sad, but there might be. I don't know. I should look into it. Or should I? Should I? I don't even know. That's the weird thing, you know. You know, I don't want to... You know, I just don't say anything, you know, to anybody and just, like, find all the facts. But that just... That just struck me how hard that could affect my mood so quickly without even really reading the exact words, you know, of what happened. Just the implied stuff that was going on. Anyway, I'm going to try to have a good day, so you have, try to have one, too. Take care.